Hello, time travelers. There's a new setting that someone told me about that you can use to improve your LoRa training. It's called SNR, and I have a comparison here of without it, which is this top row, and then with it, which is the bottom row. If we zoom in a little bit on this middle one, you can see the improvements in the color grading between the without and the with, because the, the one that's with, which is below, looks more realistic. This one's Amber Mid Thunder. Here's another one with Anna de Armas. The top is without and the bottom is with. And again, the color grading and stuff looks more realistic. So how did I find out about this setting? Well, someone actually told me about it during my live streams. His name's Salman Munawar. And unfortunately, I cannot show you a screen cap of our conversation because when people joined my Patreon, I wanted to show on the stream, my Patreon levels, but it doxed everybody by showing their email addresses of the people who already joined. So I had to go back and use the YouTube editor to blur that out. And for some stupid reason, YouTube just says, okay, live chat replay is not available anymore because you use the editor. But this is him on my patrons page. Everyone clap and thank him for finding this amazing thing. <laughs> Thanks. As for YouTube disabling the live chat replay because I blurred a portion of the video out, huh? Uh, this is my look of disapproval. This is my look of disapproval. So here I have Koya loaded up so I can show you where this setting is. So let's say you have a training setup and you're in Laura and then training. And then you're going to go over to parameters. Obviously you have all the stuff set up that however you wanted it. I actually didn't set anything up here in here for a training. I just wanted to show you this one thing. You go to advanced tab for your parameters and you go all the way to the end. And scroll up a little bit until you see min SNR gamma. Recommended value of 5 when used. So you just change that to a 5. That's it. So what is SNR gamma? I googled the crap out of it. And let's show you what I found. Min SNR gamma 5. Optimization to converge faster. Huh? This parameter would require a whole section to explain in detail. Just give me the cliff notes. All right. So here's a page that looks promising. Training diffusion models often suffers from slow convergence, partly due to conflicting optimization directions between timestamps. This guy found a way to mitigate the issue by introducing the simple min SMR gamma approach. The method adopts loss weights of timestamp ratios, which effectively balances the conflicts the of min SMR weighting strategy might not appear to be pronounced, but for larger data likely sets. to be more pronounced. Well, Solomon Munwar told me that it helped with lighting and colors. All right, this is a more promising explanation. In LoRa training, learning is performed by putting noise of various strengths on the training image. Depending on the difference in strength of the noise on which it is placed, learning will be stable by moving closer or farther from the learning target. The min SNR gamma was introduced to compensate for that, especially when learning images with little noise on them. It may deviate greatly from the target, so try to suppress this. I don't know what they mean by suppressing a jump. I won't go into details because this is confusing, but you can set the value from 0 to 20 and the default to 0. So it has to do with controlling how much noise is added to the training images during training. Okay, so I'm letting you see my notes here. That's a little bit of hack. If you don't want to wait till the next video, you just want to try testing something, then you might want to pause it and just see what this says. But whenever someone tells me in the comments that they have a different way to train lore than I do, whether it's a different number of repeats or a different number of training images, etc. They always seem to leave out one or more variables. And I asked him, you need to show me number of training images, number of repeats, number of epochs, batch size, and those are the four things I need. That way, if I have a different number of, of training images, I can adjust to try your method. And he did that. So if you guys want to tell me your method in the comments, make sure you have all four of those things. Now I'm going to show you the tensor board of showing training without the SNR gamma and with. And you'll probably be surprised with what you see. This is the one for Amber Mid Thunder. And I've also loaded up the one for Anna de Armas. But in both of them, the top line represents training without SNR gamma and the bottom one represents training with SNR gamma. This going up and down part, the Y on this graph, is the loss. If you watch this area of this little number what's it pop up thing, you see as it goes down over time. Same over here. But the loss in the training is much, much lower with the SNR gamma. 
So it's training the target image much better. So for the self promo section of this video, I'm actually going to show you something that I discovered while training with Salman's method. He trains using basically all the stuff that I showed you in my videos, plus a couple of other things. But if you look at this image, this is 900 training steps. And I wrote in the file name that it's no blend. That means this image is not blended with the Amber Mid Thunder that's in the checkpoint model. If I go over to the next one, this one is blended with Amber Mid Thunder that's in the checkpoint. So here's another example of Sophia Hasmic, one that I've been trying to train, artistic painting one. This is no blend with her face in the checkpoint. And this one is blended. So I'll prove it to you right now. Take this no blend here and the prompt is still in it. You see, I'd never wrote Amber Mid Thunder anywhere in here. Got the lore over here and in the instance prompt. And let's see the Sophia Hasmic one, no blend. Again, her actual name is not in here anyway. So it's pulling her face only out of the training that's in the Laura. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see a video where I show you how to set up your Laura training to achieve this. And it may work for you, especially if you're trying to train like your wife's or your girlfriend's face and you just can't get it quite to work. I also started a Patreon and if we'll scroll down here, we could see that we have three tiers that I set up. Explanation for each tier is right below. Access to train models, lores, meta embeddings, etc. With test images, with embedding prompts and notes. Tier two, every prompt image when I generate picture sets that I post online. And tier three, the training data sets that I use to train my models. So how I've got it set up on my Google Drive is here's tier three. Let's say you paid the highest amount and you got these folders. And go in here, we've got a zip file for the training data. Tier two, so basically when you join my Patreon, you need to join with a Gmail account or I'll send you a private message requesting it. And if you're tier three, I put permissions for you on the top folder. So you get all the folders below, including tier two and tier one. But tier two, we'll go into one of these and I tell you what checkpoint I use to make these pictures. And that way you can download this picture and get the prompt I used inside of tier two is a tier one folder. So if you only want to pay a dollar a month, still get a great benefit Go into these subfolders. And inside of here is my Laura file and an example prompt image. All right, what should I have for my end screen? Obviously, if you don't know how to train a Laura yet, or you're unclear about what settings to use, check out this video that I've got over here. And, and I was wrong about a couple of settings and people corrected me and I got it fixed. And you can see that video over here. It's much shorter. And you could subscribe to my channel right over here by clicking that. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.